In this video, we're going to discuss about the common factors. Uh, in previous videos, we had already learned what is factors. Uh, like if we have any number, we can easily find out the factors. Like if I'm saying I have a number 10, then what are the factors of 10? I have a number 10, then what are the factors of 10? Means those numbers which can divide this 10 without any remainders are the factors of the 10. Like 1. This 1 can divide 10 without any remainder. 1 into 10 equals 10. Right? Similarly, 2. 2 can divide this 10 without any remainder. 2 times 5 equals to 10. Right? Similarly, another 5. 5 is the factor of 10 because 5 can divide this 10 without any remainder. Right? 10, uh, actually 5 times 2 equals to 10. Similarly, 10 is itself the factor of 10 because 10 can also divide 10 without any remainder. Right? 10 times 1 equals to 10. So here 1, 2, 5 and 10. These are the numbers which can divide the 10. And that is why these all occur. These are called factors of 10. Right? These 1, 2, 5, 10 are the factors of 10. Today we are going to learn what are the common factors. So common factors, when they are saying common means mutual, it means, right? So there should be at least two or more than two things. So here what we'll get, we'll get two or more than two numbers. Suppose I'm giving you number 12 and I'm giving you any number, suppose 15. Right, so we have here two numbers, and we have to uh, now find out the common factors between 12 and 15. So, first, what we will be doing here, we will be writing all the factors of 12, and we know very well that the factors of 12 uh, are uh, first one is 1, 1 can easily divide this 12, so first one is 1. And uh, you know how I'm writing, uh, I'm actually just trying to find out what are the numbers that can divide this 12 without any remainder. So in my mind, I'm doing actually when 1 will divide this 12, uh, so 1, 1 is 1, right? And I'll get remainder 0. Again, 2, when 1 times 2, 2. So I'm doing in my mind. So I got 12 here. So uh, so one I got like that similarly I'm trying by the two also in my mind I'm doing this like when I'm dividing this 12 by the two I'll get two times six equals 12 and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get the remainder zero right similarly I'm trying in my mind by the three right so here is 12 so three times four equals 12 and I'm getting here remainder zero so here every time uh, all the numbers are dividing the 12 without any remainder. Every time remainder is 0. Right? The next one is 4. So when the 4 is dividing this 12, there is no remainder again. 4 times 3 equals 12. So I'm getting here remainder 0. So that's why my 4 is also the re uh, uh, is also the factors of the 12. Similarly, I'm trying by the 5. But I know that 5 cannot divide this 12. Because we have already learned the uh, divisibility test and all stuff. Only those numbers can divide 12, which is going to end with 0 or 5. So here 12 is 2, so it cannot be divided by the 5. So I'm trying now by 6. Right? At initial stage, you need to you need to think a little bit more. But after that, you know, after a few practice, you'll be perfect. So you don't have to worry. It's just the first time. That's why you're feeling a little bit difficult. So now again, 6 times 2 equals 12. Remainder again 0. So here 6 is also a remainder. And the next one is 8, 8 times, like 7, 7 times 2 is 14, so 7 is not the factor, again 8 is not, you know, so finally we have now 12. So 12 can divide this 12 without any remainder, so 12, 1 is a 12, alright, 0, so 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12 are the factors of the 12. And I think I have already given you the trick also to find out this uh, in previous videos, like, like, uh, you need to get 12, right? So 1 times 12. And similarly, 2 times 6. Similarly, 3 times 4. Right? And do we have any more? No. So what are our factors? So our factors are in the shape of U. I have already told you. Alright? So our factor is 1. Our factor is 2. Our factor is 3. Our factor is 4. Our factor is 6. Our factor is 12. So these are the factors of 12. Similarly, in next stage here, I'm going to now write all the factors of the 15. 
So the first factor of the 15 is 1. And I'm going to find out the factors of 15 in this way because this is a little bit quicker way I feel. So 15. So when I'll get 15, I'll get 1 times 15. And 2 cannot divide because two, uh, two, 15 to be divid uh, divisible by, you know, any number that is divisible by 2 should be ending with some even digit and 5 is an odd digit. So I'm not thinking and I know that is 3 times 5 is 15. So we don't have any more. So here, yes, there is no more possibilities of the 15 because 4 times, like 4 cannot divide this 15. Similarly, if, uh, 5 already we get, you know, 6 cannot, 7 cannot, finally 15 can. So we have these numbers are our factors so here our factors are 1 3 5 and the 15 so same thing I'm going to write here 1 3 5 and the 15 so now I have to find out the common factors so common factors means those factors which are in the first row also and in second row also so here 1 is common in both Similarly here you are getting one more, 3 is common in both, in 12 group also and in 15 group also. I mean in the group where the 12 uh, has all factors, you know, so like these are the factors of 12 and these are the factors of 15. And in both, what are those factors which are in 12 also and which are in 15 also? It should be in both, not in 1. So here I just get 2, 1 and the 3. These two factors, you know, these are the common factors these are the common factors of 12 and 15 so what I will say here the common factors the common factors the common factors of 12 and 15 are 1 and uh, 3 sorry it's not uh, it's 1 and 3 answer right it's very easy I, I'm, I'm giving a very simple and very simple ex example you know very simple uh, something like uh, 8 and 8 and and 12 okay everybody can easily say I think 8 so factors of 8 are 1 2 4 and 8 similarly now factors of 12 yes 1 we have already done here 2 3 4 6 and the 12 so now I need to find out the common factors and very easy just select those number which are in the first row also and in the second row also so that's one and then two and then four hey I got this time three common factors so my common factors this time common factors these times are one two and four that's it very easy right and in the next videos I'll be taking a little bit bigger numbers and clear your all concepts of finding uh, common factors between two or even more than two numbers here I'm just telling you in the two numbers but if there are three numbers if there are four numbers if there are five numbers doesn't matter it's again simple just select those numbers which are common in all the all the factors you know in all the numbers factors Hope you understand this and in the next video, uh, I'll go a little bit in a more advanced way. Alright, catch you in the next video. Goodbye. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Goodbye.